Welcome to Ride Ideas with Susan. With Easter coming up, I thought I would share with you some of my favorite ways to use technology to share the Easter story. So today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite apps, some of my favorite e-bibles that I use, as well as my favorite YouTube clips, and some of my favorite DVDs as well. So, let's get started. Here is the Bible app for kids. It's totally free. It has 40 stories and I have downloaded the six Easter based stories here. I will show you how I use it up on the board for group teaching. And here's a quick look at the donkey and the king. It was Passover time. Jerusalem was filled with people. When Jesus reached the Mount of Olives, a hill overlooking Jerusalem, he told two of his disciples to find a donkey. It is very interactive and interesting for kids. They're always curious to find out what to click on. It even has questions throughout the stories. And we can earn awards and prizes as well. And just look here. There are 25 different languages for this app. Isn't that great? You can see how it interacts with the iPad, and I found the stories are consistent with the biblical text. I have found that even 11 and 12 year olds like it when I use this app for lessons. Now let's have a look at my favorite app, the YouVersion Bible app, which is the Bible itself. This app is perfect for teaching because we can focus on the actual scripture and I can operate it from my iPad. It has bookmarks and highlighting, which makes it easy for me to find the verses when I'm teaching. I love it, and it's free too. Now, let me show you two of my favorite ebook Bibles. Here is the Beginner's Bible, which I can show up on the board. It has a red letter read along component, which is great for focusing attention. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces. He gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus. And have a look and listen to the Jesus Storybook Bible. I love the voice of David Suchet narrating this one. His robe, picked up a basin of water, knelt down, and started to wash his friend's feet. These e-bibles are great for keeping kids' attention and good for reading and comprehension as well. I have used these e-bibles with 5-year-olds all the way up to 12-year-olds. They do have a download cost and I will put links in the description below for you. Now let's take a look on YouTube for some good Easter clips. Here on my channel you'll find playlists. Click and look for my Easter videos playlist. I have found some good Easter clips on YouTube and I keep adding to this list as I come across more. Now let's have a peek at the first one. God's Story, Easter. So part of God's story is about Easter and it begins like this. You might know Easter as the Sunday a ginormous bunny hides chocolate inside plastic eggs. But Easter is really all about how much Jesus loves us and how God sent him to rescue us. And that's how you can use my playlist to find some good clips on YouTube. Now I'm going to show you my favorite DVDs. Within these DVDs are various parts of the Easter story that can be great for follow-up and reinforcement of your lessons. Jesus' friends were sad. They would never see their best friend again. How could this happen? Wasn't Jesus the rescuer, the king God had promised? On Sunday morning, two women who were followers of Jesus went to the tomb and discovered something incredible. It was empty. The huge stone that blocked the entrance had been rolled away, and Jesus wasn't there. Sarah's donkey is missing. He's not missing. I let somebody else use him. Who would want to borrow your old donkey? <laughs> I 
hope you found all these ideas helpful and if you did can you give it a thumbs up and let me know and I know there's probably heaps of other technology ways to share the Easter story if you know of any would you mind put it in the comments below so we can share the ideas with other people here as well and if you want to know how to hook up your device your phone or your tablet to a smart board or projector you can check out my technology playlist there's a few little tips there Plus, there are heaps of YouTube tutorials on how to do that as well. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and may God bless you as you teach the next generation about Jesus.